Mother is escorted off plane by flight attendants, and then she receives an unexpected phone call. Peggy Yule was sitting patiently in the airplane waiting takeoff from Chicago Midway International Airport. She turned off her phone in accordance with takeoff rules and sat back comfortably in her seat. She was just starting to relax when something unexpected happened. The plane, rather than heading towards the runway for takeoff, changed direction without warning and made its way back to the boarding gate. The atmosphere inside the aircraft was one of confusion, as you can imagine. Then the flight attendant approached Peggy and told her she needed to depart from the plane immediately. There's always someone on the plane who feels extremely uncomfortable about flying. We've all witnessed that nervous flyer who grabs onto the armrest of their seat so intensely their knuckles go white during takeoff. For the less nervous among us, flying is a pleasant experience. With a good film selection, comfortable seats, and plenty of food, it can even be enjoyable. Peggy was looking forward to her flight that day. However, it wouldn't turn out quite as she had imagined. Peggy was someone who flew regularly, so she knew the drill. She'd seen countless flight attendants go through the motions of demonstrating the safety procedures and practically knew them by heart. She didn't need reminding that all phones must be turned off before takeoff. She obediently turned herself off, checked that her seatbelt was properly secured, and ensured her seat was upright. She completed a final check to make sure that none of her belongings were obstructing the aisle and that her carry-on bag was correctly positioned under the seat in front. Confident that everything was as it should be, she sat back in her chair and relaxed, waiting for takeoff. Yule was due to be traveling to Cleveland, Ohio from Chicago, Illinois. She could have driven but decided to save some time by taking a flight instead. Chicago and Cleveland are approximately 350 miles apart. In the car, this would have taken her over five hours, but flying meant that she'd be there within about an hour and a half. It was definitely worth taking the flight, but things didn't quite go to plan. Yule recalls the moment when the flight attendant came towards her. The attendant walked intentionally over to Yule and told her that she needed to get off the plane. I figured I was on the wrong plane, Yule explained to BoardingArea.com during a 2015 interview. Midway International Airport is a major commercial airport on the south side of Chicago, Illinois. It was opened back in 1927 and was the primary airport of the region until the opening of the O'Hare International Airport 28 years later. It's typically referred to as Midway Airport Chicago, Midway, or simply Midway. Today, it's the second largest airport in Chicago metropolitan area and the state of Illinois. For Yule, it'll always be remembered for the bizarre events that took place that day. Little did Yule know that on that day in May 2015, she wouldn't end up reaching her destination at all. When that flight attendant began to approach her, she had no idea what was happening. Why had she been singled out? She racked her brain for any possible reason why she might not be allowed to fly, but couldn't think of anything. The only explanation she could think of was that perhaps she'd somehow boarded the wrong plane. In fact, there was a much bigger problem at play. However, this was not an isolated incident. There have been numerous occasions where people have been removed from flights out of Chicago. A similar thing happened to David Dao Duan back in April 2017. David Dao Duan is a Vietnamese-American doctor who was removed by force from a United Airlines flight. This occurred because four members of the airline staff urgently needed to get to Louisville, but no one was willing to give up their seat. The staff explained the situation to the passengers on the flight, requesting that someone give up their seat, but since no one was willing to do so, the airline was forced to randomly choose four customers to remove from the plane. Three of the chosen passengers obliged without complaint. Dow, however, was not so quick to accept this. He didn't want to disembark from the plane. As far as he saw it, he'd paid good money for this seat and needed to reach his destination as soon as possible. The airline CEO Oscar Munoz wrote in an email to the New York that Dow was disruptive and belligerent. Other witnesses on the plane disagreed with his statement. Dow, a pulmonologist, urgently needed to reach Louisville by the next morning. He was going there for work purposes and couldn't be late. If he couldn't take this flight, then there was no way he was going to make it in time. He firmly objected to leaving the plane, but there are different stories concerning how he went about this. Contrary to what the CEO said, other passengers on the plane said that Dow had been polite and matter-of-fact when he spoke to staff. Video footage from the flight also shows that he wasn't being rude. Witnesses on that plane in Chicago O'Hare International Airport claimed the airline staff were less than friendly in the way they approached Dow. When Dow refused, the staff requested that security officers escort Dow from the aircraft, then they became aggressive. Luckily, other passengers on the plane took the initiative to record the events. Video shows staff knocking Dow's face against an armrest as he was pulled aggressively out of his seat. He was then grabbed by the arms and taken from the plane. Dow later agreed on a settlement with the airline in compensation for the way he'd been treated. The aforementioned are incidents in which the airline has been unreasonable, but there are of course other cases where passengers have had to be removed from flights for behaving in a manner completely unacceptable. 
For example, one woman was kicked off the plane after she refused to fold up her table for liftoff. Witnesses describe this female passenger as getting cranky at this request and then becoming verbally abusive towards the attendant. This incident not only caused disruption for other passengers on the plane, but it also meant that the plane ended up being further delayed since the pilot was forced to return to the departure gate so the woman could leave the plane. Video footage showed that as the woman was escorted from the plane, she began a racially abusive tirade directed at the airline staff. However, the other passengers seemed to quite enjoy the drama of it all, even going as far to cheer when the woman was ejected from the flight. A statement issued by Southwest Airlines following the event read, the customer became unruly and verbally abusive toward our flight attendants, and the decision was made to return to the gate to deplane the customer where she was met by local law enforcement officers. In May 2019, another incident occurred. A flight was due to depart from Sacramento, California, heading for Austin, Texas via Los Angeles. However, there were some refueling and maintenance issues which led to the plane being delayed by several hours. This delay ended up causing some serious problems. While they were waiting, the attendants handed out free bottles of water to customers. One particular passenger quipped that the staff should be serving vodka instead of water, but the flight attendant was not at all amused. A witness of the incident, Petter Uzelak, told KTXL he said something like, they should be passing out vodka because we've been waiting so long. The flight attendant came by and was like, I don't think that and I don't like your joke. When Uzelak's wife took it upon herself to intervene, the situation escalated. Uzelak recalls, then my wife tried to butt in there and say, look, we've been on this plane for hours. And the attendant says, well, so have I, so get used to it. Then all of a sudden, I see her on the telephone up in front. Shortly afterwards, the plane returned to the gate and the man was removed by Sacramento County Sheriff officers. Southwest Airlines made no apology for the incident, but they did issue a statement which was reported by MSN. We regret any less than positive experience a customer has on board our aircraft. We welcome over 100 million customers each year and we aim to maintain the comfort of all while delivering Southwest hospitality. Just a few weeks before Peggy Yule's experience with Southwest Airlines, yet another passenger claimed they had a particularly difficult experience. She had been waiting for the flight to take off when she received a disturbing message from her husband. The airline reportedly then prevented her from calling him. Passenger Karen Momsen Evers from Milwaukee, Wisconsin received a message from her husband saying he intended to take his own life. She managed to send him a reply before the plane departed, but when she asked the staff whether she could make an emergency phone call, they said it wasn't possible. After Momsen Evers explained her situation, desperately asking to make this call before the plane departed, the crew still instructed her to set her phone to flight mode. According to the Daily Mail, once the plane had taken off, she asked another crew member for an opportunity to make an urgent call to her husband. They reportedly responded by saying that there was nothing they could do for her. Momsen Evers was forced to continue her journey home, crippled by worry about what her husband might do if she didn't speak to him. She arrived at home at the news that her husband had in fact committed suicide. Southwest Airlines insisted that it's routine for air crew to inform pilots of emergency situations in which the passengers on the aircraft are at risk. However, this didn't happen on this occasion. So, what actually happened with Peggy Yule in 2015 that prompted pilots to return to the departure gate? Had she caused a scene? Had she offended someone? No, she hadn't done either of those things. It's transpired that there was an emergency at Peggy's home. The flight attendant was coming over to tell her that her husband had been desperately trying to contact her. An urgent situation had unfolded at home and because Peggy's phone was on flight mode, her husband had to contact the airline in order to get a message to her. The situation was urgent and it was necessary to alert the pilot and return to the departure gate. The pilot did so and when it got there, the staff waiting at the gate told Yule that she urgently needed to call home. When Yule got through to her husband, he told her some terrible news. Their son had suffered a head trauma and was now in a coma in a hospital in Denver. This would come as a blow to any parent, but Yule was thousands of miles away in Chicago headed for Columbus. She urgently needed to get home to her boy. Yule was frantic. Her son was back home in a life-threatening condition and she was miles away. She didn't know how she was going to pay for a flight back to Denver, but Southwest Airlines had it all under control. The gate attendant already knew the situation and had booked me on a direct flight to Denver that was leaving in the next two hours, Yule told BoardingArea.com. Southwest Airlines' efforts didn't end there. They thought of everything to save this distraught mother the trouble. Yule continued, Southwest offered a private waiting area, rerouted my luggage, allowed me to board first and even packed a lunch for when I got off the plane in Denver. The airline had gone above and beyond what was required of them to look after this exhausted mother. The help didn't end there. Yule explained to the Daily Mail, My luggage was delivered to where I was staying and I even received a call from Southwest asking how my son was doing. How much did the extra service end up costing? Absolutely nothing. Southwest Airlines are completely committed to going the extra mile for their customers. We don't take our commitments lightly. 
We're dedicated to doing the right thing, we take great strides to ensure passenger safety and fostering trusting relationships between our employees, our customers, our supplies, and our planet. A spokesperson for the airline made a statement to Mail Online Travel in May 2015 concerning the Yule incident. This example is a direct reflection of the Southwest Airlines culture. Employees are empowered at Southwest to go above and beyond the call of duty.